Now that the introductions are out of the way. Listen to me, pal. I'm warning you. Your being here puts me on the goddamn map. I have some information. Well, ain't you special? Problem is, I can't decrypt it, so I came to the source. Shit. Then you have put me on the goddamn map. We've been careful. We? <laughs> Better give me a reason. Because that isn't making us the best of friends. Someone ordered a hit on me. Cost my niece her life. But whatever's in those files will lead me to them. I'm gonna find him with it without you. But with you, it'd be a hell of a lot easier. Let's play make a deal. You think I'm in this dust bowl because of the, uh, ambiance? Ever since them bastards terminated me, I've been trying to find a way back in. All I need is someone to drop some spyware inside their network. If it were that easy, you would have done it a long time ago. Hey, if it was fucking hard, I would have done it a long time ago. It's impossible for me to even get at the perimeter without setting their damn alarms off. The place has my biometric profile. I got feelings in my head that sing to their security team direct. I can help you with that. But afterwards, you're gonna come with me to Chicago. Oh, am I now? <laughs> Follow me. Nice place. You got a real eye for art? That there is a booby trap. And if you can't recognize one, then you ain't paranoid enough, friend. I have quite a few. And well, if you found me, then it's only a matter of time before others will too. So let's get started. Listen, I'm running on a limited time here. The faster we can get this out of the way. I don't think you understand your own conundrum, my friend. Chicago is running on software designed to find people. Now, I know how the CTOS thinks, because I'm her deadbeat daddy. And she's still carrying my picture in her back pocket. Now, unless you can clear my biometrics from the system, I am useless to you in Chicago. As far as my art, as you call it, if you fuck things up for me, I need to be ready for the fallout. Huh? Here, let me show you. Ready? Heads up! Well, hello! You feel that ground shake? Whoa! That set my spine straight. Give it a go! Something? Hey, if you blow your arm off, I'll sculpt you a new one. Your confidence is encouraging. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I here to boost your morale? Go, team, go. I think you misunderstand our relationship. I see an opportunity. You can help me. Point. I found a sad drunk at Jed's bar toasting his glory days in private. I'm not an opportunity. I'm your second chance. <laughs> well, hell. I think I like you. But it don't make us friends. First thing I'm gonna need is some of Bloom's hardware. I've been out of the loop for a while. I need to figure out how their scanners work. You want me to break into Bloom? Not yet. Somebody else already stole the hardware. Inside job. Well, that stuff's big on the black market. I've scouted these guys. Let's just say they're big fans. Swing by the gas station, will you? 
I got the Pawnee militia holding what's mine. So I need you to go in and grab me my truck. All right, steal back T-Bone's truck. Welcome, I'm your host, Sinister Channel 1. More watchdogs for I'm you. out in the middle of podunk nowhere making pals with a disgruntled cyber terrorist. Still, I need him on my side. Not just for the data. Use him against Damien if it comes down to that. I'll live up to my end of the deal. I love that. It's so awesome. All right, let's get to where we need to go. That's a lot of guys. You sure don't make it easy, t -Bone. I need a closer look. Well, I guess the, the best place to start would be over here. Wait just a little bit here. <laughs> All right. All right. I can see everyone now. No surprises. Okay, so it wouldn't be too difficult to actually grab this. Question is, do we want to just go in and grab it and not worry about anybody or take everybody out? Does this guy move or does he stay where he is? Let's see if he moves. Alright, he's moving. Okay, but he didn't move very far. So it looks like we need to take the taco van. <laughs> Alright, gotta make sure everything lines up if we're gonna take these guys out one by one. Huh! <laughs> 
Look right. Oh. All right, so far so good. We've narrowed it down to what three? Thank you. Ooh, didn't even see this guy. Alright, so it looks like no matter what happens, Smash into him! you're automatically going to get that, so. Could this truck be any slower? Are you kidding? You actually got it? <laughs> yeah, I got it, but it's yeah. still on me. Oh, crap. Well, uh, what do we do now? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? I never expected you to actually get the damn truck. If you want the truck, Clip you're going to have to do better than that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bring him up next to one of the sculptures. We'll have a little round of art appreciation. Ram the fucker! Oh, sweet. We took one people down without doing anything. Plowing on! Do it! It's wired ready. You're a scary man, t -Bone. There you go, mission complete. Police are still searching for 20-year-old Michelle Strauss, but at this point, they fear she may be dead. Strauss is another missing prostitute in a series of abductions, two of which were found murdered and left on grisly display. Due to the brutality of the crimes, social media has unofficially dubbed the suspect the finger paint killer. 
Police urge citizens to report anything that may lead to Strauss or the suspect. I heard about this guy. Likes to dip his hands in their blood and make a little art show. It's a fucking animal. Better hope he never runs into me. The bunker's been making noise. What kind of noise? It's online. Some people have noticed. Script kiddies, mostly. Nothing to worry about. I'll make sure they stay out. We've been probed a few times. Probed? <laughs> there is only one that worries me. His name is Default, and he's very good. I'll watch him. Let me know if he becomes a problem. <laughs> Driving so awesome in this game. All right, I left the truck for you. God damn, this plan might actually work. All right, now, you're gonna need security clearance to get inside Bloom HQ. Have you ever chased a helicopter? And no, that is not a philosophical question. I've been chased by a few. What does that have to do with anything? Call it a hunch. We'll talk soon. Alright, moving on to the next mission. Which requires us to go backwards. Alright, so that mission was actually quite a, kind of difficult. It was hard to figure out if you could um, get by all those guys without taking them out, but it looks like it was automatic as far as having a bunch of people come after you no matter what. Just trying to get you to show the new things, the new traps that you have at your disposal. But we are going to be moving on with the next mission. I know some of these videos are short, but of course there is a purpose for those as each video is all about the specific mission itself to make it easier for those to follow that just want help on that one particular part. And that's how I try to make all my videos is specifically, come on, the guy looked like he wasn't going to go forward, so I was like, I'm going to be able to fit through there, no problem. Oh, boy, this bike has seen better days. I'll take a break from riding a motorcycle for a while. <laughs> This seems to be a little bit easier to control. Uh, the the actual the vehicles are pretty easy to control in this game. It's just that everything is so random. You never know when a vehicle is going to turn, or when you know things are going to make it to where you can't actually get get by. But that's what's fun about these kind of games. Alright, so we are moving on to the next mission. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the walkthrough again. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Plenty more watchdogs on the way. As I'm trying to make it through this little tiny, tiny area. This next mission up is called A Pit of Paranoia. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And we will see you on the next mission. Peace out. Bitches!